Hi everyone, Gabriel from Blue My Mind reporting for the 6th of October. First of all, I wanted to send my condolences to Apple for the loss of Steve Jobs. He was a great CEO and uh, inspiring man and definitely uh, he will be missed. Moving forward, I wanted to talk to you guys about next week exciting iOS 5 release. Uh, a lot of people are waiting for it, but I found a little email over here saying that there's a way to get it right away. So, according to these steps, what we need to do is make sure we have iTunes Beta 7 at least pre-installed. So, according to my iTunes, I am at version 10.41. So, I'm going to go ahead and download the iTunes Windows 7 32-bit. So it's going to take a minute. So that's too bad. Let's. All right, so we're back, and I had some issues downloading the files through my computer. So I used my laptop and I downloaded them off a key. So here, let's start installing the iTunes application. Install. I thought I need to restart my computer. So I'm going to click yes and we'll resume this in a moment. Okay, so as we can see we're at 10.5 so let's first synchronize you can see over here the phone is synchronizing I'll say cancel so it's gonna sync shouldn't take too long so here we got to click on shift and then restore then I got to go here and why isn't it loading uh oh IPSW IPSW. Let's see if this works. Oh, darn it. Not so simple. Okay, so I learned the hard way that uh, you got to be careful that you're either going to download a dot DMG for Mac or a dot IPSW for Windows. So once you've clicked on the right one, this one is version 9A334 for iOS 5. Make sure you're on the internet when you're doing this process. Shift restore, restore, restore. It is working. Oh, the phone is rebooting as we speak. So this process may take some time. Now it's installing drivers. Let's see over here, it's installing all types of drivers. It's preparing the iPhone for restore. Oh, come on. Right now it's about 5% done. So 
I will come back to you guys soon to uh, advise you that it is complete. So now I'm done. All I need to do is now restore my last backup to put all the files back on. And that is it. So please, if this uh, tutorial helped you, please give me some thumbs up and subscribe. And of course, tell your friends about this video so that I may assist them through here. If you have any questions, please send me an email and it'll be my pleasure to help you guys. Thanks so much. Have a great day.